Uh, there's eight of us, from us to six children, and oftentimes we're privileged to bring my kids with. Um, we were picking some turnips at four o'clock today, a cold hearty turnip that my daughter made a turnip stall we had tonight. So, always fresh, always local. I like the fact that we can tell our customers that things were picked that morning or just the day before. And the creativity that we as vendors show. Uh, Grace did fruit roll ups this year. Um, Something new that she had for the uh, Farm Fresh Kids. We have a number of programs that benefit people in our community. And I'm thrilled, as I think I mentioned last year, when people come and say, I'm glad I came here before I came to Kroger Food City, they realize more and more they can close the market basket at our market with the creativity of all our vendors. Also, we're expanding into the winter this year, you may know, but always fresh, always local, we're thinking about all year long as well, because of the hard work of a lot of people like David King and others uh, who uh, do a lot of season extension, things started early like Anthony and others. Um, so that's another strength that we have. And so I look forward to working with all of you for ideas and how we can expand the market as far as um, more things that we offer, more creative options, how to feature those. Um, please continue to give us your feedback of how we can improve the market for all of you as vendors. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dwayne McIntyre. I am a painting contractor from Philadelphia, PA. Um, I moved here about six years ago. Actually, let me just back a, a little bit. Um, I was a painting contractor. I had no background in farming, no experience with the soil, no nothing. Um, and my wife got pregnant with our first child. And I'm not sure what happened, but it was just an on switch inside of me that, that compelled me to come and play in the soil with you all. And uh, so we started that journey up in Pennsylvania, and then we moved down here about six years ago. Um, this is uh, our eighth year as Rocky Cattle Company at the market. Um, Richard Moyer previously had uh, covered us uh, up until I took over. Um, but I am no longer a painting contractor. I'm actually now a farmer, I hope. <clears throat> and uh, it's been a pretty fun journey. And, uh, you know, I, I've come from the same uh, neck of the woods David King is from, uh, Amish country. So I was surrounded by farmers. But uh, honestly, it wasn't until we moved down here and uh, met you all that uh, we really kind of discovered uh, a place that we could uh, really learn and thrive uh, in our journey in the soil. And so... Uh, you know, I've been running a farm now for five years, like I said. I have a family. I'm husband. I have five children now. And uh, five, right? <laughs> <laughs> I lose the a while. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, so, so that's what we do now. We are a farming family. We all work uh, on the farm. We all provide all the meats that we bring to market here. And uh, I've been serving the steering committee now for two years. And uh, I'm definitely looking to uh, get your vote, if I can, to be reelected uh, for another two years, if you so desire. Um, not that it would hurt if Ben also got your vote, because, quite frankly, I mean, there's not... You're, either way, you're going to get a good guy. <laughs> but, uh, Wait till Ben's face. Yeah. He's going to call. We're basically the next each other for like almost two, just as far as one so we got to be nice to each other, at least, at least to so. <laughs> yeah, Well, anyway, real quick, I mean, all that fun games aside, uh, you know, I just want to point out the obvious about our market. Our market is a really awesome um, farmer-oriented market. I mean, we all sit here, we work hard, we work very hard to do what we do and to make this market what it is. And uh, coming from Pennsylvania, which is huge Amish farmers' markets, and then coming down here and seeing this, I mean, it's, we have a, a very strong um, gem here that's very different from everybody else. And, uh, and you know, and I just aim to help preserve that for you all. And uh, you know, I'll do whatever I can to, to see that see that through. So, uh, Wayne McIntyre, uh, up above the pen <laughs> Good. Um. As you've at least just heard, my name is Ben Bullen. I'm running against Wayne for the meats, eggs, and dairy uh, position on the ballot this year for the series committee. 
I did make a few notes of what I want to say, so like like Grace, I'm not here to off the off speaker, so we'll try not to read them, but at least give something to go by. Um, I have a father of nine kids, soon to be ten. Uh, you may have seen them at the market with us. Generally, there's at least a couple of kids with us when they're at the market. We've um, been at the market now since 2009. Uh, began by selling pork and still continue. That's our main product, is selling pork. We've since added, and it's kind of on a when we have it basis, but we've uh, had turkeys, ducks, chickens, uh, guinea hens, as well as some produce when we've got it as uh, two. Hope to have more of that in the future. That's our plan. And more produce. This year it didn't work as well as we hoped, but uh, maybe next year. Um, being part of the market has been a great experience, I know, for me, for my family, in, in a lot of ways. Um, like I said, the kids are generally with me at the market. It gives them an opportunity to uh, to learn about the selling side of farming. Uh, of course, it's a great outlet for us in terms of our farm products to, to the public and to the customers. And a great opportunity to meet other people that are doing different things, whether they be farmers or crafters or making different, all kinds of neat things. And that's one thing I really like about the Abbey Farmers Market. I didn't realize before we started doing this how blessed we are with this market. Um, for me, we live in Abbey or outside of that, and I use our postal address. And it's, um, since we, it was our farmer's market, just where we are. But hearing about other markets and different problems they have, different ways, ways that they present it, I, I really have begun to appreciate how blessed we are with this market. It's a great market. Um, I've talked to a number of customers, and they, they love coming to the market because it's it's their social outlet on Saturday mornings. So they couldn't wait for it to start back in April. And, uh, that's something I think we, we've worked hard to achieve. I know I think some people may have some mixed feelings on that, but at the same time, it's it's unique in this area. It's a good thing. And as Dwayne pointed out, we are a, a primarily a farmer's market. But at the same time, it's all of us together that make the market what it is. And I think something I really I, I like and appreciate the diversity we had at the market. I think we need to encourage more of that. Um, I've been going, I'm not a member of the steering committee, but I have been regularly attending it now for about three years. Uh, someone said to me a few years ago that, hey, this is part of your livelihood. You need to know what's going on. So I started going to it just so I know what's going on. And have a feel for that, I think, at this point. Um, professionally, my background, I'm kind of like Dwayne, I didn't start out a farmer. I was actually an attorney in Atlanta before we moved here uh, to start farming. Uh, we had a background in accounting and law. Um, I've got a lot of experience working with diverse groups, with diverse interests, trying to come together and reach a, a, some sort of a solution that works well for everyone. Um, um. I think that's about all that's on my list. I'm, not, I'm <laughs> trying not to read it. So. <laughs> my goal for, the, for us as a market, if I'm elected, is, is, even if I'm not elected, is to hopefully promote a bigger, better, stronger farmer's market that works. Because when we work well together, it's better for everyone. The more customers are there, the more things we will sell, and it'll be better for everyone. So anyway, I appreciate your vote. As Wayne said, I'm in agreement. So you, he's a good guy. I can't really say anything bad about him. He gave him long, long, thought long and hard, but I can't come up with anything. His beard's longer than mine. That's a dumb idea. <laughs> Thank you. I win because I don't have one. <laughs> um, thank you also been a part of the market since 2009, obviously, my father. Um, my name is Abigail Bolin. I made my start selling Italian sprinkle cookies left over from a festival that we had done. And since then, in the summer of 2010, I started selling pillowcase dresses. And since then, I've been selling home sewn goods and crafted things and so on. Um, I'm not a public speaker. <laughs> One thing I really enjoy about our market is how much of a community it is. We all work together, we're all family, because we're a family, we all have disagreements here and there, but we generally work it out. Um, I like it how most people generally know each other. Um, I didn't make my list. <laughs> um, I'd love to be part of the steering committee. I'd like to, as an experience for myself, um, and also um, to be able to talk to people, to bring in voice for the other crafters there. I know that crafting is not all the same. Like we need farm products, like okay, we all grow vegetables, we all sell meat, we all make sort of molasses, 
is different, but a lot of the process is, is the same. Um, with crafting, you have artists who paint, and you have people who sew, you have people who will hop things together. I know the crafting also is a lot harder to find um, local materials to make your local crafts out of. But I think that we all appreciate it when people are, are able to be able to uh, pull that together. Um, I really enjoy that our market is so diverse. We have farmers, a big majority of us all previously farmers. But we also have our crafters and our prepared food people sprinkled in to make, I think it's a really enjoyable experience for the customers. Um, uh, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> no, I usually have a Red Sox hat on, but not this evening. My name is Dave Alexander. I'm an artist and at the market for a number of years and have been on the steering committee for uh, maybe more years than I want to admit. Uh, as been already been said, we have a great market, probably the best market in the state of Virginia from what I understand, uh, and I, I would hope that we have another great market year coming up, and I promise if you vote for me, there'll be an air conditioner on every booth <laughs> in the summertime, and a heater in the wintertime at every booth, and then we're going to also have shades to block the wind, so vote for me, and I guarantee those things. <laughs>